dog in your life is thinking? Well, join me, Liz Murdoch, animal communicator, talking with the dogs and finding out what dogs want people in their lives to know and understand. I've spent my life talking and listening to animals. So if you consider yourself a dog person or just happen to have a dog, I'm here to help you learn how to talk or listen to the dogs in your life. I chat with people too, sharing stories and tips on exactly how animal communication or being a dog whisperer makes an impact at home or when working with the dogs. So welcome to Talking with the Dogs podcast, a place where we uncover exactly what dogs want us to know and celebrate that every dog has a story. So here we are today with Carla Cavalli. She is a host. You're, you're a little bit of everything, Carla. You've got the career that every young woman wants to have. <laughs> you have been a host of TV. You are a writer. You're an actress, you, a dancer. Um, you're a smarty too. You're as host of, what is it, the Planet Primetime. But you tell your passion I, is how cultures around the globe um, affects programming, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. right? Um, the show was sort of focusing, um, you know, every travel show focuses on food. Right. Or, or destination or, you know, like landmarks. But mm-hmm. ours wanted to take a different spin. And we thought, well, everybody loves TV. Right. I mean, it's, it's something that we all share internationally. Like we, we all share a love for food, a love for, I don't know, maybe wine, music, and television. And dance. I like to have dance. Right. I've like. got to have dance. Um, but um, TV is just sort of, you know, like a, a quintessential staple of like ev- almost every culture. And we thought... Let's see if we can learn about a culture via what they're watching on television. Mm-hmm. So we did. And you know, it was kind of an experiment at first. And we went around the world. And we did learn a ton from all these different cultures about based on like what kind of programming they had on. I got my master's in education because I wanted okay. to create videos and stuff like this. Although I did the reverse. My thesis was on how the programming affects the culture. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I did the reverse. So Carla... Now we get to the dogs and you have three dogs and I initially had said that we would do sign up and you get a 15 minute kind of thing. We're going to do whatever you want because we're doing a podcast and we're going to show people. I'd like to do at least more than one dog because people often think they know their dogs. I know what dog one is going to say and it's fun to find out how different it is from one dog to the another that have totally different things to say. Okay. So we can do all three in the time that we have. I don't want to lose our listeners because it's fun, but I also want to find out because I have a feeling it's going to be chatty because you have two young children at home and it's fun to some people when I was working, evaluating dogs say, I've got babies. I can't keep my dogs. It's they're not, it doesn't work, but as you know, it can work just fine. It's, it's I mean, a lot of work so. to make it work, Yes, but we're going to talk to your dogs and find out. So uh, anyone who's never listened, I have no idea who, which dog I'm going to talk to. People sometimes send a picture. Sometimes a dog will come on screen. Uh, often they will come on the dog and then when it's done, it will walk away and the next one comes. So we're just going to see what happens. Okay. So do you want to invite one of the dogs? Do you have a, pre- I think there's one that does want to go first. Okay. So. Do, is, do you know which one? Should I get which? Is there one a little say? white one? Is there one that's got more white? I think that one would want to go first. She is. She is blonde. She's sitting right here, very close to me. She's okay, sleeping. She Let me. She definitely um... wants to go first. Hello. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> this is Gloria. Gloria, how the heck are you? Did you have? Oh, she, she says, "Boy, do I have a lot to say." Oh goodness. She okay. says, "This is a long time coming." She says, I have to, I, oh, wow. Okay. She says, I have to be patient a lot of my life and I'm glad I don't have to wait for this. So yeah, she is, she says, I may, I may look docile and patient, but, um, they know I can be pushy and bossy. Yes. Beyond. Yeah. She's pushy, pushy and bossy. It's a cover. So Gloria, I'm Liz. And it's okay. We celebrate you exactly how you are. And you know that Carla does. Yes, Carla does get busy, and she's here for you right now to let you say whatever you want to say. Okay, so Gloria, what's on your mind? Is there anything you'd like to celebrate? Okay, oh yeah, she does. She really likes the air conditioning, 
she likes the she says it's a relief because she gets hot and that it's she really savors the air conditioning and she wants other people to know that some dog sometimes a dog can seem like it's not feeling well or it's acting strange and she said when oh i guess because of the covid dogs haven't been getting their regular grooming and she says so they get uncomfortable and hot and the mm -hmm. temperature for a little dog not and she says it's not just her she's seen other dogs that they get hot and don't forget about temperature with the little dogs okay got it okay, okay so gloria we heard you on that what else would you like to say um she oh she does like her grooming she does and she actually she likes she says sometimes it gets rushed and she likes when it's more thorough <laughs> and because she gets she likes being touched she yes. likes being she, oh the word is the finer things i like to sometimes i'll pause to get uh exact words she loves the finer things she is a true lady mm -hmm. and she says that there are dogs and she says i've seen a, she's seen a lot of dogs she says there are some dogs that are truly beautiful and she says for her to be at her peak, that it would take, it, it requires some styling to get her there and that she loves the whole process of it. That's partly why you two are such a match because you having worked as a stylist and appreciating beauty, she says that you understand, but you also, and you you've seen you've worked with beautiful people and you know sometimes because they're beautiful on the outside they're not always beautiful on the inside but True. you know how to see the beauty on the inside and that's why she says that you tolerate her when she's not all pretty <laughs> because yeah. you know that her heart is a heart of gold and she is yeah. so beautiful on the inside Mm -hmm. And she, she loves that you know that about her because other people will overlook her because she's not groomed and they can't see her. Okay. And that's her. So her, oh, that's why she does like to go to first, you first, like to now, because mm -hmm. she, you fill her up with reassurance because she does <laughs> not like getting lost in the shuffle. No, she's she sensitive doesn't. about that. Yeah. She's very, she's, oh, she's highly sensitive. Gloria, I'm highly sensitive. Mm -hmm. I'm highly sensitive, but I try and use it for good. So Gloria, you can use it for good too. She says, believe me, I do. You should see me with the kids. Oh, you're good with the kids, Gloria. She says, well, well, okay. So you can correct me, but I want you to consider something that she wants you to know. She okay. thinks, and I don't know, we just met. I don't know anything about your kids uh -huh. other than what I saw it on video. So she says that she's actually very good one-on-one -on -one in quiet time, calming them down when they need to just settle. She, her job in the mix is helping them just settle. Uh-huh. She is. She's, she's, she actually takes a lot. Um, I don't let my children climb all over my dogs and stuff. I'm very mm -hmm. careful about it because we usually own very senior dogs and we have lost seven dogs in the last four years. Mm. So when we rescued her back in February, I just couldn't do another older dog. Like I needed a younger dog for a little while. I needed to take a break from the seniors, even though they're my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, we wanted a younger dog that was like happy to be with the kids and, and you know, wasn't going to pass away shortly right, because right. ours passed so often. Um, and she was sort of very, she was really, really good with them at first. And then um, she's been having some moments where um, she's, she's kind of like uh, almost hurting them a little bit, like a herding dog would away from my husband's stuff because she is absolutely head over heels. She has stolen my husband. She is Jolene. We should have named her Jolene. She has stolen my husband from me. She's obsessed and like utterly head over heels in love with him, follows him everywhere. But if mm -hmm. his shoes are around and any of the kids go near his shoes, she like gets very upset. Yes. So that's kind of the issue with her. But otherwise, she lets them pet her. She's very gentle around them. It's like the baby sometimes will grab a little bit of hair if we're sitting there trying to play. She doesn't ever nip at them for that. Like she's mm -hmm. such a dream. Um, but the shoe thing, yeah. we don't get it. We don't understand it. Okay, so when I, I'm writing, I write down. She says, okay. well, those are his. Yes. Okay. And she wants them to respect. She says that they are learning about the place for things 
And she says that sometimes they are learning about sharing with each other and she's trying to show them that those are his. And oh. she says, I mean, well, I'm doing my job. She takes it seriously. She Very. Wants, she wants them to have space because like I, she, I, I get a sense in your house. There things have a, a place. You have a place for things in your house. I try. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So she wants them to know that those are his shoes. Oh. And she's trying to have the space and, and teach them to leave those alone. They have theirs. He has his, and okay. she knows those are his, especially because that has his scent in them. Okay. You know, and they're very much his. And so she's trying to protect that and, and teach them. Those are his, leave it alone. Okay. And what she wants them to do is understand that in your house. And I talk about this with a lot with people, whatever your rules are in your house are, you get to make the rules in your house and your dog knows the rules in your house. It's actually your kids are learning the rules in your house and somebody Correct. else might have different rules, but yep. it's actually not her. She goes, I'm helping your kids learn. Interesting. They have their shoes. They have to share with each other just like he has. And she calls him daddy to the kids. She doesn't consider him her daddy. Oh, you know, she, okay. She is way, she's wiser. She says she's bigger than that. She's not, she's not his baby. Uh -huh. They are his children. And she's sort of like the, the nanny, um, headmistress kind of thing. Oh, uh -huh. helping. okay. And, and so she wants them to leave the shoes alone. Cause those are his. Like a little Mary Poppins ish. Sort of. Yes. But she's sterner about it. Very. Be, and that, that's from her past of what she's seen. It's so it's her personality. Her personality okay. is just, she's going to come across that way. And, yeah. and everyone needs to remember that's just who she is. She didn't mean it. We know that she has a heart of gold. Okay. But she wants you to understand that those are daddy's shoes and daddy should have put them over there or he's yeah. going to come back and get them or he put them there on purpose because he's coming back to get them and he knows where they are. Okay. But they're not to touch them. And then she, she says that sometimes she'll take them or move them. Gloria does. Does she nudge them away? And she'll sleep on them. Yeah. She's guarding them. She's protecting yeah. them, but she will yeah. stop doing that once she knows that her job is done and she doesn't need to protect his things. Got it. Okay. Cause I guess she see, do the kids, the kids take them and do whatever. And you know, then yeah, sort of create I mean, something. Yeah. There's like a little wildfire sort of near the door because we all put our shoes by the door and then his are there. And I've tried to keep putting his away because she sort of seems to get funky when the kids go for their own shoes and his shoes are there. Yeah. Um, you know, because I was, I was a little worried that she might bite somebody. Um, but it, it's been okay recently. So he need if he has his own space for now, because I mean, my daughter was bit when she was three years old by a dog that she knew. She just happened to turn around suddenly. Or maybe she was, she was six. She turned around suddenly. We were at, with the horses and we were walking and she just turned around suddenly and the dog freaked. And sometimes... I mean, you've had senior dogs, but your kids are getting older. Sometimes the sudden movements, mm. the kids with each other, that can spook a dog. Yeah, too you rowdy or something. Know. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's the same. You have a dog, you keep your eye on your dog, you keep your eye on your kids. Yes, they of course. mean well. I've been bit by dogs and yeah. it, it's, it always comes down to, you know, where you want how come you let the dog in the situation that it could be? Yes. Yeah, so I agree. The shoes are definitely, it's a, it's a bait kind of topic. Daddy needs to have a special place, a new place for his shoes. And it's a lesson okay. for the kids. Sometimes we change things. We have a new house. This time daddy's shoes are going to go here. Got Yours it. Go there. And we want to keep everyone safe with Gloria. Okay. And Gloria is, you know, it just works best for her now as she makes sense of things. And, and, the, and I have a podcast episode with a seven-year-old and the kids get it. If you just explain it, you know, Gloria's getting yeah. protective of the shoes. We think it's better to do this. Okay. Gloria, what do you think of that? She says that would make my job a lot easier because there's other things she wants to tackle. Okay. Really, Gloria, what is it that you want to tackle? She, she does, she says that, 
she can do her magic on the chill. She wants to help the kids learn about dogs. Okay. And she, yes. And so one of my passions is working with kids and uh -huh. dog training or talking with dogs because it sets them up for a lifetime of working with dogs. Yeah. So Gloria, maybe that, oh, Gloria, she wants to work with the kids in a heart connection about learning about senior dogs because she can teach them so that they can help the other dogs that will come later okay. and in their lives. And she's very serious about this. She's, she, she keeps saying, she said this several times, she has seen a lot in her life, even before you. And yeah. most, most dogs don't bring up their past. Yeah. I know nothing about it. Some, well, she says, all you need to know is she has seen a lot okay. and she's at peace with where she is. It's not like she's haunted, but she feels sort of like been there, done that. And so now I've got a mission. I want to help these kids. I want more okay. time with them alone. Okay. She says that she can do her magic with them and teach them. And she says, that's like why she's a gift in your house now in a new way, because she is like a Mary Poppins teacher, whereas the others might've come to heal or passing through yeah. she was there for a different reason. Very well, she had, she had had a bunch of litters before. And I, I kind of, every now and then I sense that like, she's got this nurturing mother sort of thing to her, this like essence of like being a mom where she's maybe like a little bit like my mom, because my mom is very tough love and British and very like, um, oh, that's funny. Well, she's like that. That's yeah. why like the shoes go in a certain place. Le like she's like to the kids, leave them alone. Those are his, you know, those are his, he doesn't take your shoe. She's is like a British nanny. Yeah. Yeah. But, that's funny. um, it's interesting. I'm pausing because I've never had like a dog like that. And it's funny about your British background. You said that, but I, I didn't put it together, but she really wants to get work her magic on those children. Okay. About, it's like, she's raising them like she would her own puppies. So yeah. that like puppies leave when she leaves next, that the children are prepared just like Mary Poppins. Interesting. And okay. She, she's doing her work. She's, wow. Yeah. She's got a bit of a mission here. She too. Well, all dogs do. I mean, yeah. some dogs, it's just to bark out the window and Different. say someone's uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. And I've had dogs that wanted to be reading dogs and go to school. And invariably then the person later will say, oh yes, we just signed up to do that. Mm -hmm. she, she is like a matriarch, I keep getting that where she wants, but she sees these children as she has work to do with them mm, and she okay. wants to teach them and show them, but she also wants to love them in a different way. Mm -hmm. Okay. A dog can. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yes. Um, it, it's, she's very adamant about that. Like, yes, I can believe it. <laughs> she's very adamant. Okay, Gloria, I'm going to ask you, what else do you want to know? Um, she's, oh, she's telling me she wants me to know that usually she naps at this time of the day uh -huh. and she changed her schedule to do this. Well, thank you. <laughs> Is that true? Do you nap around now? When yeah. Nap? Yeah. All the kids nap and the kids and the dogs stay here and they take their like, like little nap. But then as soon as we come back, she's raring and ready to go for a walk. Yes, but she's making an exception. She says, I'm making an exception. Okay, uh, Gloria, is there anything else? Because I know you're going to share the limelight with the other two. What else do you want? Oh, she wants Carla to know something. What do you want Carla to know? Carla is a great mom, and she didn't put that down here on her bio. And she <laughs> says that you are a great mom and that you, so she show, you juggle a lot of the details. She likes, she says, feeding time is really something around here. <laughs> because we all like different things and mm -hmm. you have, you're like a magician pulling it all together. So, uh, well, thank you. Yeah. She, so how, so you want Carla to know that? Cause so I always end for anyone new when I do a session, I always say, what, what do you want your person to know that can be completely random? And she wants you to know that you are really terrific. Okay. So this is twofold because she's a teacher. She says, you're really terrific. First of all, she wants you to give you credit, like in your bio. She says, you should put that down, that you're a really good mom. Aww. And she said that it's 
amazing how you get the you coordinate all the meal time seamlessly. So every it just it's like it all just fits together. And there's might be all this stuff going. Do you know what she's talking about? And yeah, I mean, yeah, it's chaotic here just in general and trying to sort of get everybody set and in high chairs and ready and then dogs in the right place. But and, you do it and then there's still stillness. Yes, because we always sit for every meal together. Yes. Yes. And she said, it's amazing. So what she's saying, and so I had this, this dog, Layla, who we're, I'm going to do a cooking shows with her. Layla yeah. wanted to do something. She wants, she says, you could teach people too, because there are, as we know, a lot of these dogs that end up in the shelters and it'll say came in as a stray. And I'm like, I have never seen a stray dog in LA once. I drive all over LA. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a stray dog. And how come yeah. the shelters are full of stray dogs? So people, sometimes I think they must take their dog and it's easier to turn it to the shelter by correct. Saying, it was a stray. Yep. Sometimes I get people are overwhelmed and they can't keep their dog. So they think the best thing to do is take it to the shelter where someone can deal with it. Yeah. But the important thing is toddlers can get along with dogs and babies can get along and we don't have to turn them out as strays or call yes. a rescue to come and get it. Cause I have interviewed and I have approved many of those dogs. I agree. Mom or dad said, we're not going to be able to keep the dog. Yeah. You can keep the dog. Yeah. And according to Gloria, in Carla's free time one day, she might be able to talk about how to keep how how to navigate parenting with a dog. That that's a topic that Gloria is saying you would be really good at because oh. the picture and the feeling I'm all getting, right. the, the chaos that we all know as moms or dads that is happening at the 4 30, 5 30. Kids are hungry, we're tired. We want to eat dinner together because we all know how important that is. And then the dog needs to be fed. But Carla has figured out somehow to bring it together from that chaos. And it all lines up like Mary Poppins would do. Not that you're perfect, but she says, you've got, you figured out a method. And Gloria says she can't share that as well as you could. But with your platform, that is something that Gloria would like you to consider doing. Okay, Families like yours who have, you're making, you're figuring it out. Okay. Now my daughter's walking. Now, now we've got this, we've got a shift. It can, it can work. It's, it's yeah, one more thing, but it, it helps the kids. I think that there's so much opportunity for education in that part on how mm. to keep a dog and integrate it into a family, especially with children, yeah. because it makes me crazy when I see these dogs that they stray and it'd be one thing if they really were strays, no, nope. but I drive around LA. There are no strays. So people nope. stop lying. And let's, if we can yeah. help you, you know, mm -hmm. then it saves them. It saves them the disposition fee too, to say that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But you know, I, they obviously, I mean, I think there's some that care about if, if even a handful, if we can find a way to help educate them on how to keep a dog idea. somehow, or even longer until a rescue can place it into a foster, you know, something yeah. like that. So that's my mission, but that's what Gloria wants you to know that okay. she's there to help with the kids. You're a fabulous mom and you could do something with your knowledge and your skills as a, you know, jack of all trades with the media and hosting and teaching people and culture. So, okay. Well, Gloria, thank you. That's a great idea. Well, I thought think about Gloria, it. I mean, okay, Gloria, is there anything else? No, she's done. Okay. Gloria, should we move along then and see if there's sure. another dog? Okay, hold on. Let's so get you have to a boy people. dog? We do. That's coming. She says he's a handful. Oh boy, he is a very yeah. big handful and she knows it. She says um, that. Yeah, he's a handful. What's yep. his name? Vito. Vito. Okay, Vito. Yeah. Vito. Come, come. Come it's here. Your turn. Come. He calls Gloria the little lady. He does? Yes. Gloria gets very upset when I give Vito Hello, too much attention. Hello, Vito. Okay, okay. Hey, Vito, Vito, hi. You are handsome. <laughs> okay. All he right. says he's a handsome stud. Really? Vito. <laughs> yes, he knows he is. <laughs> he is. He's really handsome stud. Vito, I'm here. Can you look at me, please? Uh, okay. Hello. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see your choppers. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's yeah. talking. Yes. Hi. I'm Liz. I, I love you. I do. Yes. She's great, too. We're here to talk about you. It's your turn. What would you like Carla to know or anybody else to know? 
So he says, despite his teeth, I see his teeth right away. He has had really good care and nobody needs to feel sorry for him. Is that true? <laughs> no pity for you? Uh-uh. Okay. So he says he, oh gosh. Okay. So I get feelings. He likes to strut about. He really mm -hmm. likes the outside. He likes to lead the way outside. He says he knows where he's going, but sometimes people don't trust him because he's going in the wrong direction. But he, he says there's always a reason to what he's doing. Really, Vito? Okay. So uh, you like the outside. If you call it the great outdoors. Are you loving this, Vito? You look very content. Yeah. Did you want to talk about food? What is it you want to say? Vito? Okay, so you like the great outdoors. What are your favorite things? Oh, you, you like the dinner time. Oh, so he likes the dinner time because everyone's in one place and he doesn't have to keep up. Uh, wait, he doesn't have to keep track of where people are or where huh. things are because that stresses him out when, it, when he doesn't know where everyone is because, just because he likes to know the lay of the land. <laughs> He's like a air traffic controller that he yeah. wants to know where everything is. And so when it's like, oh, gee, he's like, oh, geez, she's over there. Now they're there. What happened to the little one? I guess the baby's the little one. Uh huh. Um, and then there's the little lady. And there's just keeping track of everything. Oh, it challenges his manhood because he doesn't know what's going on. He does uh, not like to be disoriented or yes. fear of missing out. He has fear of missing out. He has FOMO big time. Yeah. Big time. Oh, Vito. Okay. Yeah, we know. Okay. So when everyone comes together, he can relax a little bit. He doesn't have to work so hard to keep track of everybody. Got he it. feels that he has to, in his own way, protect everybody and know what's going on and where they are and are they okay. So it gets overwhelming. He gets his heart rate. It's like his heart races. Yeah. His fear of missing out. Oh, Vito, we're sorry. He's, oh, but he doesn't want pity. He's like, don't pity me, babe. He's like, <laughs> okay, I won't pity you. So yeah, Carla got it. You like the family all together time is very, okay. is, is especially satisfying to okay. him. Okay, got okay. it. What do you think about the kids? He says they're, they're fine. He says that they're sort of over there. He doesn't engage as much with them. Uh, well, wait, he, okay. He's, it's like they have an, he has an agreement with Gloria a bit. It's like a dance of what's hers and what's his, like he's allowed to play more than she does. But, but when she comes in because she wants to assess something, then he backs up. They have. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, they do. They so. You want to say something about that? With the kids. Yeah, they do with yeah. the kids. With, with us, it's a little bit different. They kind of just both kind of get in our faces, but the, with the kids, it's a bit of a tag team. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very different. And they, he says that they have it worked out between them and that it's important to know. Oh, I guess he, he says that uh, the, the adults sometimes don't understand what they're doing, but now he wanted you to know that's what they're doing and that they have it worked out for a reason. And it, works, it. it works both for the dogs and the dogs have determined that it's best for the kids too. And that's why they do it. Okay. And so they don't need to change it. They have it worked out on where okay. the kids are. I guess they're aware of how old the kids are and what they can do. Like they, they understand who the kids are. Okay. And so they are, it's like they're both working on rounding up and raising the kids as dogs. You know, they're, <laughs> they're doing their jobs with the kids. Oh, yeah. Interesting. And he's very comfortable, he says, with his place in the family. He, That's he, good. He's very comfortable with that. He feels, he feels treated like a king, actually. He is basically, he, he's my sort of little king. So I had a little dog um, that was like my soulmate, like the dog of all dogs of the existence for me. Yes. His name was Jake. Jake. I had two. I had a black Pekingese like him and I had a blonde Pekingese, Jake and Lola. And they were with me for 15 and 16 and a half years. Jake, um, I always say that I needed Jake. I'm sorry. Jake needed me, but 
I needed Lola. So the two dogs okay. and I were, were a threesome for many years together. And they, we all had this interesting thing together. Uh-huh. Anyway, Jake passed away tragically and I wasn't home. Okay. And Jake looked very much like Vito. So Gloria, what is it? She Why? might not be done. She might want to add one more thing. She's very upset that I have him on my lap right now. Gloria, you want to add something? But go on. You're telling a story. So, so Jake, Jake, Vito looked very much like Jake. And I saw him on the website of the shelter. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to get this dog. I have to save him and get him adopted. And I fell in love with him very quickly because he's got a very big personality. So he stayed. So he kind of had a lot to live up to because Jake was like my dream dog. And then Vito came along and he was like a young version of him who was like super naughty and like, Hey, the being walked on Lucy's growling at her right now. Are you telling her to back off? She wants to add something to this conversation. Oh, she here. has her own. She wants to put her two cents worth in. Come here, Gloria. What would you like to say? Gloria, what is it that you wanted to say that was being left out? She says, well, I'm here for a reason too. You're there for a reason too. So your story of how you, you came into the family is just oh. important. Oh, I didn't tell that. Mm. Do you want me to, do you want me to tell her that? She says it matters. She goes, it, if you're going to tell his, you might as well tell mine. It does matter. So it, it's a little bit of a similar story. My husband's Frenchie named Mabel passed away in January and she was his Jake. She was right. his first baby. Um, and, uh, it, she, Mabel was like this legend of a dog. She was amazing and fantastic in every single way. She was bomb proof. Like she was a, loved the dogs. And, you know, we were all just really, really heartbroken. And then I have wanted another Pekingese that looked like my Lola. I know this is very confusing. There's so many dogs, but with a black mask and blonde. Um, uh-huh. But it was, it, I wasn't finding one. And then a friend tagged me on Facebook on this dog. Her name was Pearl. I like insisted we go and see her and foster her. And we did. And yes, I know. Yes, yeah, that what happened. Mm-hmm. She was a breeder surrender because apparently the breeder got sick and, and surrendered her to the um, rescue called Bully, Bully Love. And um, she, she seemed to fit in from day one. But yeah. what happened, what was really strange, we were just kind of going to foster her at first because we weren't sure if she was a good fit. She fell so head over heels in love with my husband. It was like it was Mabel back again. Oh, interesting. And she was doing things that Mabel did. Like, mm-hmm licking his legs of the water when he got out of the shower and following him everywhere. I mean, to wow. the bathroom, to the garage. If he, she, if he is not in her sights, she loses her mind. Mm-hmm. She has to, has to be next to him. So we were like, well, she's got to stay. I mean, it's right. clearly like Mabel, like either sent her or something to like heal my husband's broken heart or, mm-hmm. or she came along t- to help with him in some way or another. She has a different mission with him than she does with you. Oh, like she wants you, she really admires you. She really, like the work she was saying about helping other parents understand how to mm-hmm. care for a dog so they keep it. Dogs aren't necessarily, we can't say, I'm going to go get a dog that's just going to love me and snuggle with me every night. We need, it's like our children. Are your two children have different personalities? Oh gosh, yes, opposite. Yes, so dogs are like that too. We can't control yeah. what they're going to do in the house. Yeah, of course. So I always say to people that, and it happens, and you may have this. You can you can email me and ask me those questions that come up. Often people will have like one burning question. Can I just ask you this? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. And is there another dog though that wants something? Any. <laughs> Uh, we have a, we a 13 year old bulldog, but she's dead asleep. I can hear her snoring. You can probably hear her on the audio. Okay. She's so so loud. just because there's three dogs and, and I'm going to just see if there's anything I can get from, okay. from she is a her. Some dogs don't Ly- care whether they're he or she. Yeah. That's I, Lila. Okay. So Lila, Lila, is there anything? Oh God. She does. She, she likes, she sleeps on, she likes the hard cold. She, um, and she's comfortable. She likes her, her space in that way. Is there anything? The kids are great. She's like, leave me alone. She's, she's just, <laughs> yeah. okay. So I guess, is there sawdust? Is there uh, the dirt or allergies? That's the only thing. That's what bugs her sometimes is sawdust or she's sensitive to the um, environmental air. What's in the air? is her, okay. her thing to watch. It's almost a complaint. 
Her okay. only complaint, she gets sensitive to, um, I see sawdust, like okay. something in the air. It's okay. not smoke. I mean, Josh, could... Josh is always back there sort of doing some sort of wood project. So maybe oh, that's it's with it. wood. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he's always doing sort of wood projects and Does stuff. Does he saw where there would yeah. be sawdust? She's yeah. sensitive to that. She doesn't like that's... it. Okay. No. And it, the sawdust bother, sometimes the noise is a disturbance to her princess, you know, the, it's a noise, but also the sawdust flying bothers her. It's she's sensitive that whether it's eyes or ears or smelling, she doesn't, she'd like to not be around that. That's okay. It. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. It's, yeah. um, am I allowed to ask you a question yeah, about yeah, her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, she's obviously in her twilight years and every day we check to make sure she's breathing uh-huh. <laughs> multiple times right. a day. <laughs> Which we're used to because, like I told you, we had seven senior right. dogs, and like we we get the senior dog thing. Yeah. Um, and they, you know, we're in a place where where we know they don't want to really ever leave us. They're, you know, yeah. They might leave their bodies, but they're always with us. Is sort of how we feel. But um, I don't know. Is there anything that sh- that would make her more comfortable, or does she want to tell Josh anything? Josh is really her. Okay. He's a great guy. So it's interesting because the other dogs didn't want to talk about him. She, she will. Um, oh gosh, she loves him a lot and she Mm -hmm. watches him. The sawdust stuff bothers her. The woodworking, she doesn't like. Okay. He doesn't want to be around that. Okay. She doesn't, it, the noise, the, the jarring, it's like, oh, I guess because when he's walking around, she feels like, he, does he carry it? And he, she just, it, it makes her uncomfortable. There's okay. Consent. She can't fully relax when he's doing that. She would Got rather it. be in a, in because there's movement and people coming and going. And, and I feel like there's, there's pieces of wood and the noise and she can't fully relax. Okay. So that's what she, and she can't go as deep into her sleep. So I'm going to ask her, cause I, I do talk to a lot of dogs in the senior days and I'll see if there's anything she wants you to know. She, she's okay. So she's had a, a really good life. She's talking about, I guess, do you wrap her with wraps or something or something cool or washcloths or have you ever, there's something about like a material that she has liked or have you ever cleaned her? Do you clean her? Josh bathes her a lot. Yeah. Okay. Cause I see these like t- cloths, these towels and she okay. likes, she, she loves that. She likes the cool ones. Okay. When they're fresh and cool. We also soak her feet. We soak her feet. So maybe that's it. Yeah. It's like, it's very calming to her. She loves it. Okay. She loves, I mean, it's like so moving. I feel like I want to cry. It's okay. just like this nurturing caretaking. That's a rich, it's like a ritual. Okay. She loves that. That and, and I guess he uses a tonic. Does he use? There's some kind of a, um, or it smells good. There's something that he uses. Uh, yeah, he's got this like special uh, dog shampoo that he likes for them. Yes. And 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 she says she likes that. It smells good, and she associates it with the care. Uh, with him. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I don't use that shampoo. He does. It's something. It's walk. very gentle and it has a light smell. It's and baby. It's, it's a baby shampoo. Yes. Yep. It's, it's it's very nurturing. She loves that. She loves that okay. time. She does not like the woodworking stuff. Okay. She likes it when it's separate. So that's the, her only request is not to be a part of that. So okay. I'm asking about you know like that time. Sometimes they're very specific. She's not. She is. You know. When you have a loose tooth, yeah. it might be wiggly, but it's not going anywhere. Yeah, she's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I mean, that. she's, it's not, <laughs> she has no message other than what she just okay. shared. But great. It, okay. I feel good. Do you great. have any other questions? You look like you got your questions answered. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm very, very happy, especially with Gloria, because she was the, mo- you know, the main one that I was worried about. I mean, I, I know Vito is just loved and happy and you know, it, it was, it was mainly this one that I was like mostly concerned about and whether or not we were the right fit for her and if she was happy because of the children and, um, you, you thoroughly answered that. And she's she exactly where she belongs. She's okay. just like, don't, don't worry. Let's get to work more kind of thing. Okay, good. I know we could handle whether or not she wanted to be with us, but I didn't know. I never want a dog to live with us. If they, they, they feel like they would be better somewhere else. Like if they feel like they would, I don't know. You know, I mean, look at her. She's happy. like, where would I go? Yeah. Where, I mean, where my, would I go? That's how I feel. I was thinking that today before our phone call. I was like, even if like she, like, 
there was another home. Like, I don't, I couldn't, I don't know. I, I don't think that I could allow her to go to anybody. Well, good. I'm glad that you feel reassured that she's where she belongs. Because okay, I have no good. doubts. Good. Okay, good. That makes me very, very happy. Yes. That makes me happy, Gloria. Yes. Yeah, thank you for chatting. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much. So should, can people follow you? I mean, I'm gonna, I'll put a post up and you know, people want to make a donation to a, a Purposeful Rescue directly or they can book a session with me and then I will make another one. But you might have projects or something coming up. Is there anything you would like to have an audience listener reach out or what would you like to do? Gosh, um, well, I mean, they can follow me on Instagram and they can see Gloria's progression and her life and how she's dealing with the kiddos and Vito. Perfect. Everybody likes to watch Vito's bath time on my Insta stories because he's the only dog you'll ever meet that falls asleep in the bath. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he's really hilarious that way. But um I mean, you know, if people are interested in checking out my show, Planet Primetime, it's on um, Apple TV now and it's on Amazon. And um, you can take a look at the episodes if you're interested in learning about television in other countries. And um, that's about it. I'm just really excited for this to, to air and I'll share it also. I'd love for people to know more about my dogs and about you. Good. And about Thank a purposeful you. rescue. And a purposeful <laughs> rescue. Yes. And yeah. we'll just see whether anything comes of your lessons on how to have a dog with a baby in the house. This, I, I'm already like have the wheels turning in my head. Okay. All right. Well, have but no pressure if you don't, because there's lots of <laughs> other things I'm sure you could be doing. So no pressure, but glorious planet to see. All right. Thanks, thank Gloria. you so much. I'm Liz Murdoch with Carla Cavalli and we are here and we thank you for your time today. Check us out on Apple podcast. We will hear, but on talking with the dogs and you can learn more about both of us and our work. with the dogs. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe, listen to the podcast, and remember, every dog has a story. Thanks for tuning in to Talking with the Dogs. Hope today's episode made you want to understand your own dog better and appreciate that every dog has a story and something to say. Subscribe now for more dog stories and insights into animal communication and what it's like to be a dog whisperer. Review this episode on Apple Podcasts or Follow Talking with the Dogs on Instagram or Facebook and sign up for a chance for you and your dog to be a guest on the show. Whatever you do, I hope you'll spend time talking with the dogs. Bye.